green sign on the side road Dazzle your sweet eyes like the mud brick The plan that draws you the possible snag The heat silence hanging fixed in the heart The even smiling and the morning screaming She followed him like a starving wolf It's like, well, wait a minute. You don't know what you're going to do? That means you're reluctant. You're right. not sure what you're gonna. Oh shit! You're not. You're not sure of what you're gonna do. Like if you were gonna open a business, what kind of business would you open? A restaurant? I don't know if I like this angle. Go ahead. Have somebody uh, run it for you. Yeah, go ahead. You're not freaking out because of the camera, are you? No, I'm all right, I'll put it down. What are you gonna, are you gonna do with all this information? Anyway? I'm not, I told you I got a website. I might just do a page for. People that I that I film, I could be a fucking director, bro. You said I was very intelligent. I, I am a writer. I, I'm a very good writer, that's for sure. I could write a screenplay any day. No, I tell you what happened. You know, the reason why they're they're paying us uh, unemployment insurance is because there's too many breaking points in the security field. Plus, there was a lot of problems with it because of of the breaking points. You know. And when they recruited you as a security guard, after doing it mentally, you snap because you're around this type of thing where you're constantly, and it pisses me off. These cops down here are making $70,000 a, a year. They pay me peanuts. See, you could, when I met you, I said, well, you could be a good cop. I was down there in Moscone, and I got tired of these supervisors going like, well, wait a minute. And you were down there that day. We'll, we'll have him stand in the sun for like uh, two hours. But if you leave your post, you know why? Because some black guy during the briefing got all drunk. And he's going, oh, here, here's a nice white guy. I bet you he's going to go to the supervisor. I leave my post for two minutes. I'm out there in the, down there in Moscone. I had so many freaking problems in this in this uh, this career. You know what I mean? It's what, what what is it? You're constantly watching your back. You know, gonna, uh, you, know, you know. And you know what? And you know why they're playing? I tell you why. You know why they're paying me unemployment? Because I had a guilt. Do you know that I? You're said, on unemployment right now? Oh, shit, I said something cool. I, you know what I said? I asked an Indian one time, like, you know. He's digging? Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, are you an American citizen? Do you know I lost my goddamn job at all that? Because I said something. See, they never streamed all this shit out, man. And now we're paying for it later. We're paying for it now, as we speak. Yeah. Why are you, you know, I remember, you know, why, why are you not doing it? Because it's like, well, shit, man. I'll go sell cars, but I don't need guys breathing down my fucking back, making me stand on these posts like I do. Hey, you got, you're, you're a better person, and you've got a lot more to offer, and that's why you're doing what you're doing, and you haven't given up hope or belief in yourself. My problem is, is I have, like, when I was in, when I was in my 20s, I was playing music all the time. I was making money playing music. In my 20s, I was playing every week. Drums. Of all the instruments, I was making much more money playing drums. Can you imagine? But see, you stayed at 50 years old and said, hey, you know, there's another way. I don't have to do this thing. I'll make it. I'll find some other way of doing it. So, you know, you're a hit strong. I admire you, man. Look how strong you are. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, you know what? I didn't, you don't know this, but when I worked at that uh, Moscone, I had that job at, uh, I had a salesman's job. Yeah. So, 